All right, test run number one. Fingers crossed, let's get this going. All right, so sometimes you get ideas from other channels and one of these ideas that I've got for this car is a electric brake booster. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if a Honda Accord electric brake booster will fit inside this 68 Mustang. Uh, so we're gonna try this, let's get to it. All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to tackle a eye booster in a 68 Mustang. I'm excited for this mod. I think it'll actually help me out in my current situation out really well. And I think we'll learn a lot and you guys could possibly uh, can contribute and we can make this thing a really nice deal. So I'm excited to show you the progress I've made so far and hopefully show some road testing. I don't know. We'll see how far we can get into it. Let's jump into it. All right, so the idea is that this booster is very compact and it saves some room in your engine bay. Now, to show you that, I'll have to show you an original brake booster. So let's go check that out. Mind the mess, but here is the original style booster with the original master cylinder. And if you were to do a comparison on, which I'll do a comparison on how far this one sits out. This is about six and a half inches from the firewall out. You also have a, a bracket out here, which makes it about three quarters of an inch further. So you're talking about six and, uh, well, we're almost already at seven inches out. That's not even including the master cylinder. So you include the master cylinder, which is going to be starting from that flange out. That is another seven and a quarter out from your firewall. So you've got this 14 and a quarter inch monstrosity coming out of your firewall. You've got a plum brake lines to it. It's just, it's a lot of room is taking up in the engine bay. Now let's switch over and look at the iBooster. So iBooster coming out of a 2018 through 2020 Honda Accord is the same iBooster that is in the Tesla Model 6. And what we have here from the firewall is about five and a half inches. So you're talking, it's already slimmer than the original booster and it's doing all of this on electrical circuit. So the physical differences of this booster, you can see where we used to have a five bolt pattern on a 67 through 68 uh, booster, you'd have a five bolt, you have a four bolt and it's different setup. So I have a template made and I will post a link to it. This is just a simple template that you can print out and um, it'll, it'll help you center and show you where those holes need to go. So by way of illustration, the, the cavity for the brake booster is about an inch and a quarter recessed away from the rest of the firewall. By way of illustration, I wanted to share with you the interference one might have with the driver's side cylinder head. As you can see, this booster will come out about four and a half inches from the firewall. She shows promise. It also comes down about three and three quarters away from the original booster hole. Drop a comment if any measurements you may have that may be able to help us all. All right, kind of success here uh, so far anyway. I mean, we've got this thing fitted up. If it's just in there like perfectly underneath this bolt and that bolt, the stock locations, clears pretty good, but man, if you had a different engine in here, I have no idea because that's pretty close. This plug here is gonna be close. So I don't know what that does for anybody here, but it does work for this application. So let's go. 
All right, so now that that's installed, now comes the fun part of making these line connections. All right, so these, these are the M12 bubble flare adapters that you will need to convert it to regular 316 standard. So you also notice a difference in the the uh, the Bendix push rod, whatever this is. Um, I'd love you to drop some comments on how we might modify this to actually accept the uh, stock brake. But what I did is I modified a power brake from Summit that I got, a power brake pedal, um, which if you know about the power brake pedals, they actually mount in a different location on the stock pedal assembly. But perhaps we'll go to something more adjustable like this. Perhaps that's the idea going forward. But for now, this worked out great. The modification I made on the pedal. I'll show you that now. So I made some modifications to the pedal um, so that it'll catch just inside just inside like that inside the, the metal so I will hopefully make a new whole new bracket here um, and get this all worked up nice but anyway this is what we got right now I think it's gonna work really well Gives us just enough offset and enough pedal. So here we go. One last thing on the physically installing this booster is the, the stock location of the pedal assembly was really is really dead on and it's it's right on. Uh, like the pedal doesn't seem too high, it doesn't seem too low. As soon as I put this in, I was just amazed that the stock location just matched right up. So to wire this thing up. A few things it needs is a 40 amp uh, fuse, also a 5 amp fuse. So you'll need a constant 12 volt with your 40 amp fuse, and then you'll also need a 5 amp with your switched key 12 volts, and then a, a ground, and that's it. This thing pretty much plugs and plays. So you can see here, here's the motor assembly for the iBooster, and here's the pressure sensor. And basically, if you have the wiring harness, which I was able to, to find one of these in the junkyard that had a, a, a wiring harness and everything. But what you'll need is, is a, a wiring harness from here to here to connect those two. And then you run those three wires and you're done. So I got this off of Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. Please check out the new affiliate link. It really helps out the channel a lot. And you can purchase these fuse holders. A big time savings there and they work great um, so to put this together I ha actually did purchase some plugs extra plugs so if you guys are interested in those I'll have the whole wiring harness made up and I'll put a link in the eBay store if you're interested so please drop a comment engaging on the interest is how many I'll I'll build up but uh, if there's a quite a few then we'll put them on the there and get these plugs out to everybody because it really makes a simple installation when you have the right plug and all you got to run is those three wires. All right guys, so we have the booster installed in the car. Now it's time to give this thing a little test and what we're going to do is just do a test in the driveway. I have no idea exactly what to expect other than the pedal feels good. Uh, the bore size on this master cylinder is a 15 16 which is super close to what I need, if not exactly what I need for an all-wheel disc brake setup. I am going to add a remote reservoir to this system. So as you can see, the booster system is kind of clunky, but you can, you can move that reservoir around which makes it really uh, convenient for a setup like I'm using it.
y'all. So I am super excited because that worked out awesome. Now, I didn't get an official road test on this thing, but I can't wait to do so. I have a few more wiring things just to wrap up, headlight buckets to put on this thing, you know, rear glass, you know, tail lights, um, you know, interior, you know, the list goes on. So I'm super excited to show you guys all the, the, the full road test as soon as I get it done. But yeah, everything's working out really well. Only thing that I think I will have to modify is a return spring. So as I depress the brake, it doesn't return back like I would expect it to do. And I, I anticipate the reason is, is there's already a spring inside the brake of a Honda Accord. So um, let me know your thoughts, guys. I would love to hear from you. I'd love your help on this. If this is something that may interest you, maybe I don't know if this could fit into the Coyote yet, but that's where eventually I'd like to go with this is be able to put this inside a Coyote swap and be a solution for the uh, brake systems because we all know how compact the engine bay gets with a Coyote inside it. So super excited. I'm ready to get this thing rolling down the road. Please hit that like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot.